In my previous video, Next.js performed much better than Laravel, and this got me investigating until I found that Next.js does not reflect database changes. This invalidate my previous comparison because Laravel fetches the database with every request. However, today, after I modified the Next.js component to be dynamic, the results really surprised me. Here I have Gmeter test plan open with 100 concurrent users that will sum up in a ram up period of 12 seconds. And the whole test will last for 15 seconds. And I prepared two requests here, the Laravel. And I can show you my EC2 instance here that we can check the IP address. And I have two SSH session open for each server. Let me close and show you the configuration. Let's clear here and clear. So let's put the cat I prepared already, the Next.js. And you see here, this is my Next.js configuration. And on the other side is the Laravel. Each server configuration is taken from the production documentation of each framework. For Next.js, I'm using Forever. And as we see here, we have reverse proxy to the localhost port 3000, whereby Laravel, we are using the PHP FPM. So let's clear now and let's open back the agent for the CPU collector for our Gmeter for both Laravel and the next server. All right, and let me open now and start the server. The command I already prepared. And this command will test the test plan that I showed you earlier and will put the results in the Gmeter results so that we have a dashboard. And we are ready, so let's go. And we see here that each server has already received connection from our machine requesting CPU and memory metrics. End of run and our test is ready. So I'm going to open Google Chrome to open the index HTML. Let's go now to the summary report and my eyes go directly to the error rate and both frameworks have an error rate of 0%. And the max here, the max represent the longest response time. Now for Laravel is 571 milliseconds, half a second and for next is 1978 which is almost two seconds so laravel is performing much better here i will show you now the other chart maybe we'll explain better and here is our chart now the next is the yellow and laravel is the blue and we can see now that laravel is really performing much better than next js and Next.js performance is really worse and the more we add concurrent users. Now let's navigate to the CPU users from our Gmeter. So I open Gmeter, navigate to CPU metric. As we see here, Laravel is the blue, Next.js is the red and Laravel is performing also here much better. It's playing between like 80 and 95 or 96 percent CPU users, whereby Next.js is playing between 95 and 100 the memory collector here we have laravel using 63 percent of the memory whereby next.js is using 78 between 78 and 82 percent of the memory very interesting now ladies and gentlemen please keep in mind that we have two separate servers with similar specifications and two applications with same functionality next.js dynamic component really worsened the performance however laravel performed much better and this has surprised me because there are so many sites in the internet that speaks about Node.js being so much faster than PHP. Please remember that every framework have its strength and while we have focused on performance, there are so many other factors to consider. I hope you enjoy watching and see you next time.